Let's take a look. Brian Balding, your former offensive lineman, uh, breaking down what Maurice Hurst did on his interception against the Seahawks. It's third and six up here in Seattle in the third quarter. And there's Miles Garrett out there. and Cleveland's got six up here on the line of scrimmage. Who's coming? Who's dropping? Well, okay, we see defensive tackles drop every once in a while into coverage, rob the middle of the field, like Maurice Hurst Jr. But we don't expect that, the tip ball. And then retracing it and intercepting it. That is a play you don't see very often. That was a great play by Hurst. Like, can we bump that play right to his resume reel? And, and Max, I, when it happened, I'm like, that's a 280-pound guy who is nimble enough to deflect the ball, turn around and find the ball, and then catch the ball. That I mean – I don't know if people understand how much athleticism from that big of a guy that takes. No, I listen, I'm 100 pounds lighter than him, and I can't even do that. So, he, he Martin, listen, Maurice Hurst is a phenomenal athlete. Like I said, he was a superstar at Michigan. He's been really good in the NFL when he can stay on the field. Now, the issue is staying on the field. But, yeah, I mean, that, that you know, Baldy is one of the best in the business at breaking it down. I'm glad he broke down that play because that was one of the freakiest plays that we saw from any player uh, this past weekend.